wanted to share to all of you about Rizal Annotation of Antonio de Morga's Successos de las Islas Filipinas. So, we believe in saying that history is the one of the most remarkable things in our lives, especially in our country, the Philippines. So, without further ado, let's get started. Make yourself comfortable, Carizalians. Hello, mga Carizalians. So, I am Francine and Jenny and gusto ko lang i-share yung knowledge ko ngayon about Jose Rizal when he decided to annotate the Antonio de Morga's successor. So, Jose Rizal decided to annotate the Antonio de Morga's successor and published a new edition on the Bigger Work on London and completed it in Paris in the year of 1890. He had already traveled in parts of Spain. France, Germany, Austria, Switzerland, Italy, China, Hong Kong, Japan, and the United States and England. He could converse in Spanish, French, German, Italian, Japanese, and English. He was only 13 years old. By publishing his annotated version of the Morgan's success of the Philippines, or Events of the Philippine Island, originally published in 1609, Rizal's intent was not only to provide the beginning of their early history and Spanish history, but also to present to them their own authentic culture and identity. Aware of the most of the book written about the Philippines, he selected the success because he considered it necessary to invoke the testimony of illustrious Spaniard who governed the destinies of the Philippines in the beginning of the new era and witnessed the last moments of our ancient nationality. Hello again, Carizalians. I'm Jen and Justin Baste. And I want to share to all of you about the background information or important information about successes in the Islas Filipinas. Did you know that Antonio Morga has said in this book that the women throughout this province were sayas or dresses with sleeves called baro or baro of the same cloth or different color without any chemis except white cotton sheet worn around the waist falling down to their feet. That is our culture, you know. Perhaps Morga says for the men. Clothes made of cannon fabric without collar or sewn in front with a short sleeve extending down beyond the waist, some blue and some black, while the headman used red one which called chininas. Morga tahil about the indigenous people. Morga said that those natives living in the zone are types whom one cannot be saved with because um, to classify them it is either through good or violent means. But Rizal Annotate that they will always choose violence until the government enters because of their inhuman ways as an answer to those who do not submit to their prayers. In the government, or the status, Morga said that there were no kings and queens or lords in different barrios or province to rule. Instead, they considered principals among natives. Rizal agreed. The successes de las Islas Filipinas as annotated by Rizal appeared for the first time in the Philippines 68 years later when a publisher in Manila published the new work in 1958 to contribute his bit to the national effort to honor Rizal. The argument or three propositions in Rizal's new edition of Morga Successos de las Islas Filipinas are the people of the Philippines had a culture on their own before the coming of the Spaniards and the Filipinos were decimated, demoralized, exploited, and ruined by the Spanish colonization, and also the present state of the Philippines was not necessarily superior to its past. The title literally means as events in the Philippines Islands and thus the book primary goal is a documentation or events during the Spanish colonial period of the Philippines as observed by the author himself. The book also includes Filipino customs, traditions, manners, and religion during Spanish conquest. And I'm going to show you my knowledge and understanding about the nutrition of Dr. Sarsat, especially its contribution to our nationalism and nation building. This all have purpose in his annotation. In fact, he emphasized that Filipinos already had their own culture even before the Spaniards came. And there is no need for us to have a new religion or new civilization. 
this document is for awakening the Filipinos of our past, the history of our nation, or what a different circumstance that we experienced under the Spanish colonization. Second, I believe that this annotation of Rizal was addressed to his contemporary countrymen in seeking change and working for freedom, equality, and tranquility. And it served as a reminder for us Filipinos to be as one, that even if we came from different parts of the Philippines, and even if we have different dialects, still, we are Filipinos, and we came from one country, which is the Philippines. Hello, mga Harizalians! So, this is it, one seat. After all na na-discuss namin sa inyo about this document ni Morga, the success of the last East Las Filipinas na inannotate ng ating national hero na si Rizal. Hindi nagtatapos lahat na nandyan. So, kung nakikita nyo, nandito kami ng mga kagrupo ko, mga Karizalians, na ma- meron kami maibabahagi din na natutunan din namin sa na-discuss namin. So, di ko na ito papatagalin pa. Uumpisahan na natin kay Angelica Senarillos. So yun, hi guys, hi mga Karizalian. So, uh, para naman sa akin, uh, ang natutunan ko naman sa ano na to, so, ang natutunan ko na kaya inanotate ito ni Dr. Rosarizal, itong um, Successos de las Islas Filipinas ni uh, Antonio Morga, syempre para malaman din natin mga Pilipino na hindi lang tayo yung makikinabang sa mga natutunan natin sa ano sa ating history o sa ating mga nakara- sa ating nakaraan, pagkos pati syempre yung mga susunod pang hener- henerasyon natin. So sa akin, as a student, Uh, magagamit ko ito upang ano, malaman yung kahalagahan at yung, yung kahalagahan at importansya ng ating nakaraan. Dahil hindi tayo magiging ganito kung ano tayo ngayon kung hindi dahil sa ating nakaraan o, o sa ating mga pinagdaanan. So, uh, parang naging malaking epekto siya ng ating kasaysayan itong, at itong nakaraan natin sa ating mga katauhan. Kaya itong success de las Islas Pilipinas, ito yung naging way para magkaroon ng annotation si Dr. Rosenisal upang malabas niya rin siyempre yung kanyang saloobing upol dito at makara maipahayag din sa ating uh, mga sambayan ng Pilipino kung gaano, ta- kung gaano kahalaga ito at upang magkaroon din siyempre tayo ng sapat na kaalaman at mapansin natin yung mga nilalaman ito sa so, yung lama. The last but not the least, Karizalian Tanya Micaela. So, hi mga Karizalian. So, napakahalaga nga na basahin natin yung annotation ni Dr. Rosenisal. Kahit anong edad pa yan, bata matanda mahalaga natin itong mabasa. So, ma- marami akong natutunan dito. Ito, um, tatlo lamang ito sa aking mga natutunan. Una, kailangan nating matutunan ng ating nakaraan or past upang mas lubos nating maintindihan ang present. Sinasabi lang dito na, tayo mga Pilipino, kailangan nating magising sa katotohanan. Katotohanan kung ano yung pinagdaanan ng bansa natin. Ano yung mga um, problema o nangyari, lalo na sa panahon ng mga Espanyol. Pangalawa, sinasabi dito na maging isa tayo bilang isang bansa. Dahil iisa lang tayo ng pinitirahan, iisa lang yung lahi natin, which is bilang Pilipino. Kaya dapat magkaisa tayo upang mapaunlad at maging progreso yung ating bansa. At ikatlo naman ay maging responsible, responsable tayong mamay- mamamaya ng ating bansa. Nagawin natin yung part natin bilang isang citizen ng county na ipakita natin na karapat dapat tayong tawagin bilang Pilipino. Makakatulong tayo sa ating bansa kahit sa mga maliliit lamang na bagay, katulad ng pagboto, pagboto ng tama, o pakikilahok sa mga programa ng ating komunidad. Yan lang. So, Karizalian, so I hope alam ko na marami kayong na-note dyan sa mga papel nyo or marami kayong naunawaan sa mga na-share naming knowledge. And magpapasalamat kami sa oras nyo na pinanood itong aming video. And I hope sa mga natutunan nyo ay mahaba, maibahagi nyo rin to sa iba. And dito lamang po magtatapos ang aming um, pag-share ng kaalaman about dito sa topic ng Results Annotation of Successes de las Islas Pilipinas. Music